Okay, so I thought I'd show you how to use, uh, well, this one applet, this one chi-square test applet for a test of association, test, test for independence. So this is from the, the, the Stevens Think Do book, page 198, section 11.2. And since he's already worked out this problem, I thought it'd be a good one, good one to do. Um, so we're trying to test to see if, uh, let's see. One thing I want to say here is, even if we're using calculators, you still want to set up what's the claim, what's HO, what's H1. I mean, that, that's, that's just so important to do. And then how you get the test statistic can be, uh, be uh, um, can, you know, can be done with using technology. Uh, so we, we're trying to test whether, uh, whether or not gender and grade are associated, okay? So basically that tells me that, um, let's see. That tells me here, let me get a board going here. So that tells me what I'm, what I'm trying to do is, uh, let's see my pen working here. Yeah, so the null hypothesis is that gender and grade are associated. So the null hypothesis, they're not. Uh, gender or sex and grades are independent. Independent, so if I can spell that correctly. And the alternative hypothesis that we're testing is uh, they are dependent. Uh, dependent or associated is a relationship. Depend, I see, de, 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 depend, ent, no, I don't know. Dependent, there we go. And then we're going to do, so now when we found that out, we need, I mean, really for the uh, hypothesis test, we need to do a test statistic. And we either need a p value or we need that critical value of chi-square in this case. Okay, and I can, I'll probably use, since we're using the applet, uh, I'll probably just go with the pi, the, the p-value. So how do we use an applet? Well, this one here that you, uh, you link to is, sets it up. So with the first option, in order to do this, we need to set our categories, and this is just for us as humans, I mean, so male and female, the two row categories, the two groups. And then across the top, we're gonna to put the grade, which is, uh, let's see what, A and B and C, D and F. Yeah, Fs are not fun to get. I've had a couple of them in my life. So let's next. Uh, and then I'm going to enter my dad it's looking for. So eight, 10. I think this is just the applet's way of, you know, making sure you've got the right number of categories and it knows what you want for categories. Nine and then four, six, nine, six, five. Let's see, do I have that right? Four, six, nine, six, five, eight, nine. Okay, next. And what's our level of significance? Are they telling us this? I mean, this is just going to help us make the decision. Uh, let's see what he used here. This is the same data? Yes. Um, claim HO dependent, independent. Uh, do they tell us a level of significance? Test at the 5% level of significance. So that's what's there. We're going to have us calculate the test statistic. And there's the chi-square test. Notice, notice that's what Dr. Stevens got. How close is he? 727. I think it's just a rounding thing that's going on. He did some rounding here, and, and the applet didn't have to. 
But if we look at this, the p-value, it does give us the p-value. That's, that's a big p-value. And did they tell us, uh, how does he do this? Yes, he says the p-value is about 0.065 within the ballpark, even though it's not exactly that close. A p-value of 0 0.6 is much bigger than 0 0.05. So we're going to so we're going to reject HO. We can't reject HO. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any association between uh, gender, sex, and, and the grade they get, which we would expect. Okay, so hopefully that helps you use this applet for these uh, uh, chi-square tests for independence.